The House Select Committee on China Leadership will hold a trade debate later today featuring two bipartisan panels discussing China trade relations, technology export controls, and investment flows. The moderators of that debate join us this morning, China Select Committee Chairman Mike Gallagher and ranking member Raja Krishnamoorthy. Uh, Congressman, welcome to both of you. Let, let's lay this out a little bit, because most of the time when we talk bipartisanship, um, worries about China come front and center. That seems to be the number one issue that both sides of the aisle agree on. What should we expect today? Uh, Congressman Gallagher, we'll start with you. Well, I think the most complicated aspect of our competition with China is our economic and technological competition. Our economic relationship with China is incredibly fraught. And this question of how we selectively decouple or de-risk or what's the difference between de-risking and decoupling is a profound question. And we want to grapple with that head on. That's the reason we're having this debate. It's my observation that a lot of times in Congress we don't have real debates. We have people reading talking points to a camera or reading those yeah. talking points to an empty house too. chamber where nobody's listening. <laughs> so we want a genuine exchange of ideas. And I think what's cool about the way we structured it is for that each team has a Democrat and a Republican on it. Uh, so I, we're really looking forward to the genuine exchange of ideas here. And uh, Congressman Krishnamoorthy, the, the exchange of ideas have to do with what issues? Uh, with trade, with spying, how you work these details out? Yeah, exactly. I think that um, kind of piggybacking off of what Mike said, you know, a lot of our constituents are asking the questions, how did we get to this point where we have such a huge trade imbalance with China? Uh, basically, they export uh, $400 billion more than they import from us. And so that's a huge issue. And how do we then fix this problem? You know, how do we prevent them from violating global trade rules, uh, engaging in uh, cyber hacking and intellectual property theft or economic coercion, um, or doing other things to make it harder for us to compete? And then finally, um, how do we continue to make stuff here in America, especially things that are vital to our economy, our national security, health care, things like personal protective equipment and then active pharmaceutical ingredients? All that stuff, um, unfortunately, has been outsourced. And we learned the hard way during the pandemic that when you do that, uh, you have supply chain risks, and that's a big problem for our country. I'm glad to hear you bring up the idea of pharmaceuticals being sourced outside this country, um, being sourced specifically in China, because I was just talking to a few people about the idea that we know this is a problem. We learned it firsthand during the pandemic, but we really haven't done anything about it. How quickly, Congressman Krishnamoorthy, do you think we can address those issues? And I'm glad to hear you honestly focused on that. Well, I think that, uh, you know, Mike and I uh, are probably going to be recommending this as a part of uh, a set of bipartisan measures that we'll issue as part of a report that will then try to transform into legislation. I think a lot of people here in Congress on both sides of the aisle recognize that something has to be done to onshore uh, some of these products and diversify supply chains. But as we uh, were talking about earlier this morning, um, there needs to be some incentives probably to bring back some of this, um, some of this manufacturing here to America. Um, that being said, a lot of diversif diversification is already happening in the private sector, even without government involvement. And where that's happening, that's great. But for other types of uh, issues, whether it's, um, you know, the refining of critical minerals uh, or, you know, having EV batteries built here, uh, we're probably going to need to continue with incentives. The idea of even having these debates and holding these things is probably pretty provocative to China. I'm sure they're not pleased about the idea of talking about separation. They've made it very clear that they don't like a lot of the language even around that, that that really gets at the heart of feeling like they're being attacked. We are not at the point where we can stand on our own two feet. We are very much linked to this economy. So, Congressman Gallagher, how do you do this in a way that recognizes that it's going to be years that our economies are still so closely linked and recognizes that these are the two largest economies on the planet and what happens between us has pretty huge impacts around the world. Well, I think intellectually you have to think about it both as a short-term sprint. There are things we need to do in the next five years in order to most notably prevent a war with China over Taiwan and reduce the economic leverage they might wield against us in that war. And also in terms of a long-term marathon. There are things that are going to take decades and decades of work. Onshoring in certain industries is part of that. But I actually think there are a lot of things we can do in a bipartisan fashion in the 118th Congress. So, for example, 
one thing I, I think we can recommend is how we put sensible guardrails on outbound capital flows to China so that we aren't inadvertently funding our own destructions. One of the questions we're going to tease out in this debate is whether such uh, guardrails should be company specific or sector specific or country specific. And as we know, the executive branch right now, the Biden administration, is debating uh, an executive order on outbound capital flows. So I think it's a mix of short term things we need to do with alacrity as well as a long term perspective about how we improve our overall economic health and a recognition that you can't selectively decouple without simultaneously drawing closer with certain other countries within the free world. If this is a debate, I, I take it you have people who have both opinions, both that, that Congress is, or that China is a huge concern we need to do something about, and maybe the other people who look at it on the other side and say, well, there are things we still need from each other. Is that a fair assumption that there will be people from both sides? Congressman Krishnamurthy? Yes, I think that's right. Um, and I think that, you know, we have to do this in a way where we don't do harm to our economy. But as you might have uh, recognized earlier, you know, the Chinese economy is in big trouble right now. Uh, youth unemployment is like 22 percent. The real estate market is tanking. Growth is, uh, you know, is, is slowed to a crawl. And so this is the time where they should probably decide to play by global trade rules and engage with other countries. And perhaps there is an opportunity where, um, you know, their current situation might materialize into better behavior. But until then, uh, we have to make sure that we protect ourselves and we onshore what needs to be onshored and we friendshore other, issue, front, friendshore other items as well.